Tiger Park with Kilponen ready to go. Again, allowed just two runs. Sierra Bryan takes her deep right off the bat, and it's gone! Bryan does it again! Her second leadoff homer of the regional! Are you kidding me? I'm over here talking about buns and steals, and they said, no, actually, Megan, we're going to go with the long ball. First pitch of the game, Alex. She is all over that. Sierra Bryan against LSU. This is her second leadoff home run. This one, way too good, right down the heart of the plate, and Sierra Bryan was ready. Sierra Bryan hit five home runs during the regular season sense to be swinging but there's just so many times batters take that first pitch Sarah Bryan setting the tone the game stood up the rest of the way this one sky to right Gutierrez flying in unable to make the grab Alderick heading over to second she's racing around to third Gutierrez struggled to control it and then Alderick at the last second retreated to second but the best possible start for Louisiana. Runner is going. Here's the throw to third. In time. Oh, what a big play. There's the walk. Now she gets to head to first. <laughs> Opponent got her, rung her up with the bases loaded, and Tally is stunned. Has been their big RBI producing machine. Ellie Andrews bounces one over to short, and there is absolutely nothing Dalton could do with it. Here's on against Lamb in the last game. Here's Sierra Briggs laying down the bunt. That stays fair. The catcher Piss goes on to first. First two have reached against Lamb. Clark back up the middle. That is going to bring home at least the tying run. And LSU is going to grab a 2-1 lead. Alex, I mentioned that Georgia Clark looks so locked in. And I feel like she goes deep in the count. She saw just about every single one of Kendra Lamb's pitches. So much so that Lamb goes with the changeup. And it's on the upper outside part of the plate. And... Clark does such a great job driving it right back up the middle. Perfect location to get both those runners in. Those are the first runs allowed this weekend by Here's Raylene Gutierrez. She swings at the first one, gives it a ride to deep left center, but Brian is there, and the Tigers strike back in game seven. Vince be you're a great salesman. And she's ended up having a phenomenal season for Louisiana. Close play at first, but rounds out to end the inning. A one, two, three frame. Rear and not getting rattled whatsoever. However, LSU's offense. Now this looks more like the offense we saw in the first two games of the regional when LSU put up 20 runs off. That, that just worked out perfectly for LSU. 2-2 two, two with two away. Andrews pops it up. Dalton is there. Runs in their first four games. They were averaging seven per contest. Backhanded stab by Tidwell. Not in time, but the effort was there. Got her. Dalton goes down looking with the runner on. Pleasance blasts one to deep right center, and that is gone. The SEC Newcomer of the Year goes yard. Taylor Pleasance has done so much for this ball club just as a freshman. She's the leader of the infield at shortstop. She steps up huge here. And let's not forget, in her first at-bat, Alex, there were two runners on, and Coach Tarina sacrificed Bunner. She gets the job done, moves her runners into scoring position. She, I, it doesn't really look like she's slowing down a whole lot. And Ellison comes in and strikes out Gutierrez with a runner on. Also led the squad in ERA. Tidwell's been busy in this game. A 1-2-3 inning worked.
swing and a miss. Summer Ellison with another strikeout. Her third and four batters faced. It's been truly uh, lights out. Pleasance on to first, not in time. Lead off runner aboard. The contest for Kilponen. Ortares smacks it in. Grabbed by Clark at first to end the inning. Georgia Clark does it again. How so even that adds to it too, right? When you start playing in games that full count or full capacity, you have to one for two. Chops it backhanded by Dalton, but won't have time to do anything. Or at third, excuse me. Summer Ellison has loaded the bases here. She retired the first four batters she faced with three strikeouts. The 0-1. Swings at one upstairs. It's in right field. Running it to make the grab is Rawls. The quick throw home and it's cut off as LSU gets a big fourth run across here in the fifth. That is gutsy right there, Alex. That ball... I have to imagine just Coach wanting, Coach Torino wanting just to push the envelope. But I mean, that was right on the edge of the infield. And I think probably caught Rawls a little off balance, but that was a good throw. And I have no idea why Justice Mills cuts this ball off. After the fact, she points at her chest. First three and a run across. Here in the fifth, Clark gives this one a ride. And that one is gone. Oh, Georgia! Georgia Clark with two runners on. This is exactly what LSU needs. They needed more insurance runs and they got it. The fact that they were able to go deeper in account, she is all over this curveball. Not a bad pitch, it's off the plate. It's a little elevated, but that's all about being on time. As you saw, they're not even finishing the swing. You don't need to. You're providing all the power right as you get to contact, and man. Huge in this ball game, Georgia Clark, soft. Today, the way they were able to get those five runs in the first inning. Morgan Cummins over to second, scooped up by Gortares, and the inning comes to an end. Give it one more go. Put together strong numbers this season. 292 average, 35 RBIs. Louisiana finally put their first run on the board and won it. one nothing and 11. Here is Bailey Curry demolishing one, and she says, hold on, we're not dead yet. Stop the obituary. <laughs> Curry gets all of this one. You got a runner on. That's why Coach Blasco goes to her at least once a game. Expect to see her get that pinch hit. This time, she leaves the yard earlier in the game. In this regional, she's been able to pick up the RBI. Hasn't got the hits, but this one all over the right ball inside. She knew it right off the bat. For Bailey Curry, that is her sixth home run of the season, and it is now a four-run game. Take it. Rawls sends one to deep left field, but that one dies down just in front of the track. She's just making top ten plays all the time in center field. Lays down the butt. Not going to catch her with that speed. Perez yesterday. And of course, Shelby Sanceri in the first two games. And Briggs is aboard again. That one thrown away into right field. And that is easy coming home for Andrews as she walks in for the eighth run. Coming up in the seventh. If they can limit LSU. So here we go. Seventh inning on the way. RA strikeouts just about every pitching category imaginable. Sliding over his Tidwell, diving for the bag, not in time. Heck of an effort. <laughs> one and two. Back up the middle, on to first for one, and that gets thrown away. The runners advancing to second and third on the routine play. Yeah. 
Chopped up the middle. That makes its way to center field. One run is going to score, and it's an 8-4 ball game. She sends one to deep left field, and it's caught on the track by Briggs. One run will come in. It's an 8-5 game, but oh my, Justice Mills came oh so close. Ah. Over to second, Tidwell on to first, and LSU is headed to the Super Regional.